For this practice, we're going to be using a cushion, a pillow, or a blanket, so take the time now to get one if you haven't already. Find a comfortable, easy pose sitting on your cushion with your feet lowered down on your mat. Sitting up tall, place your palms open on your knees as we connect to our breath. You can close your eyes here or leave them open. We want to focus on deep breathing and calming the mind. Take your time coming to all fours, lining yourself up, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, moving the cushion ahead of us and out of the way for now. Exhale as you round out, bowing the head in cat pose. Inhale, dipping the belly to cow pose. Continue moving through cat cow, flowing with your breath. Take that cushion and draw it beneath your pelvis. Laying down in a prone position, drawing your hands next to your chest, we press up to a cobra pose or upward facing dog, the cushion beneath us for support. Lower down and draw yourself back to a child's pose, pulling the cushion in to hug for a rest as you deepen your breath. Hips over heels, take this time to release any tension in your lower back. Coming back up, slide the cushion forward and make your way to a downward facing dog, pedaling out the heels if it feels good. We're going to draw the right leg forward to a pigeon pose, allowing our seat on our right side only to come to rest on the cushion. Focus on squaring your hips off to the mat as you normally do, drawing the left hip forward. Get long through the back and neck before folding over that front leg. You can also keep the body upright here if you prefer. Releasing pigeon, press back to downward facing dog. Drawing the left leg forward to pigeon this time, resting your left side on the cushion. If you are folding forward, don't forget to get long through the back and neck before doing so.
releasing pigeon to downward facing dog. Walk your hands forward to the outer edges of your hands. Bending the knees, coming to a garland pose, you may rest your seat here on your cushion for support, allowing you to get longer and more upright through the body. Hands to heart center, deep breaths. Releasing garland pose, we're going to make our way all the way down onto our backs with the cushion positioned beneath our hips. Take the time to get comfortable and send those legs straight up in a legs up the wall position, engaging your muscles only enough to keep the legs upright. Let's drag our fingertips down our legs, encouraging blood flow towards the hips. Apply as much or as little pressure as you like here, moving along the front, the sides, and the back of the legs. Place your left foot down on the mat, knee bent. Move the cushion to your right side at hip level, then straighten the right leg out down on the mat. Drawing your left knee in towards your chest, use your right hand to guide that knee over to the right side in a reclined twist, allowing the leg to rest on the cushion. Try to keep both shoulders grounded in this position. Gazing over your left shoulder, deepen your breath. Taking your time coming out of the twist, move the cushion over to your left side at hip level, extending the left leg out long, hugging your right knee into chest, guide it over to the left side, allowing it to rest on the cushion in a reclined twist. Gazing over your right shoulder, deepen your breath. Take your time releasing the twist. Coming to your side and pushing yourself up, take a seat on the cushion, bringing the soles of the feet together in a seated bound angle, feet on the mat, hips elevated, resting your hands gently on your knees, palms open, focus on your breath.
If this feels good, you can continue to hold this bound angle position or feel free to move to any comfortable seated position as we move one hand to our belly and one hand to our heart, focusing on taking a few more deep breaths to finish up. <sighs> 